Hello, St. Peter's. Welcome back for our second week of school. It's actually our first five day full week of school. And it's so nice to be back here with you. I hope you watched my first one. We did some superhero fun last week. And this week, I'm going to read you a very silly story about a very impatient moose. It's going to be fun. What do you guys think? Look, they took over my rocking chair, so I have to sit on the floor. I walked in and here they were, ready for story time. Just like you, right? Who do we have? We have Ralph, our rhinoceros. Magic monkey's going for a ride. Daisy's hanging out back here, along with our pig of joy and her jar of joy right back there, because we'll spread some joy a little later on, okay? Are you ready for a story? All right, let's get ready. Let's turn up our ears so we're ready to listen. Turn off our mouths so we don't make a sound. Mm -hmm. Put your hands quietly in your lap. Take a nice big deep breath. <sighs> now we're ready for our story. Today, it's very silly. I think it's hilarious. It makes me laugh out loud. This is called Z is for Moose. What? Z is for moose? Is that true? No. What letter does moose start with? An M. That's right. But moose says Z is for moose. That's me pointing at him. I wonder why he has that idea. Do you want to find out? Let's see. Our author is Kelly Bingham and our illustrator is Paul O. Zelensky. Let's take a look at how this is going to go. Here we go. On the cover, see the moose? We also have a zebra. Let's look at zebra's eyes. Hmm, what do you think he's thinking? Is he keeping an eye on moose? He's like, hmm, very suspicious. He's gonna keep an eye on him. Here we go. So we're gonna have to look very closely at our pictures today. They're helping to tell the story. So we start out here with zebra and his clipboard got a little hat on and then apples walking up the steps because the zebra is in charge of everything getting set up on the stage or the book so he's like the stage manager or a referee making sure everything's going smoothly here he is peeking out apple made it up the steps to his spot and it says a is for apple pretty simple so far B is for ball, C is for cat. Everything seems to be going just fine so far until D is for moose. D is for moose? What do you think D should be for? Right, maybe a duck. Do you see the duck down there? Oh my goodness. So the, so Moose jumps in, pushes duck off the stage, says D is for Moose, and the zebra says, Moose, no! Moose does not start with D. You are on the wrong page. Because Moose, what do we say it starts with? That's right, M. But Moose couldn't wait. He had to get up there. Now he's trying to butt into the elephant's page. E is for elephant. And the elephant says, look out. And Moose says, oh, sorry. He can't quite push elephant off the stage. He's too big. Let's see, is he going to mess with this one? F is for fox. G is for glove. I don't see any moose involvement here. He's not in their way. What about H? <gasps> Uh-oh. We can't even see H. H is for not moose, but he's in front of the hat. And again, he comes in and he says, is it my turn yet? And the zebra says, no. Now move off the page. He's just being impatient. He can't wait for his turn. But he doesn't start with H. Moose starts with M. That's right. We're up to I. 
Oh boy, I is for ice cream. Moose says, now? Oh, he really wants his turn. J is for jam. We peeked around. Now? Now? Not yet. K is for kangaroo. Oh my goodness, he's in the pouch with the little Joey. He says, now? And the little Joey says, mommy, who is that? How does he even fit in there? L is for lollipop. Here it comes. He can hardly wait. The next letter is M. Do you think it's his finally his turn? You ready? M is for mouse. What? Wait. No, this is supposed to be me, Moose. M, M is for me with an M for Moose. Oh boy. How do you think he's feeling? <sighs> he's been waiting this whole time for M is for Moose and they said mouse. Moose is not happy about this. Zebra says, I'm sorry we decided to go with the mouse this time. Oh no, what's Moose gonna do? So we can't even see N is for needle because Moose is causing quite a commotion. Look at this. Moose is having a very big giant fit. He stepped in the pie. He's smashing everything up. He's knocking the queen over. And she says, well, I never. And the owl that was supposed to be there says, whoo. So after M and N comes OPQ, owl, pie, and queen, and the moose messed them all up. He's so angry, he was having a fit. Uh-oh. Oh boy, now look what happens. This is so silly. R is for, he crossed out ring and wrote moose. And look what he did. He drew moose ears on the ring. That is silly. S is for Moose. Not, not Moose, it's supposed to be Snake, but Moose is mad and he crossed it out and he drew some Moose horns on the snake and the zebra's up here and he goes, stop it. So now he went from a big, having a big fit to trying to take over. Moose just wants his turn. So now he's so angry that he's turning everything into M is for. So zebra, uh-oh. He's got to take over and protect all of these things. So now he's protecting T is for truck. U is for umbrella. The moose is trying to get him, but he's not going to let him. The zebra is doing a really good job. V is for violin. He's still protecting him, but this time moose isn't grabbing in. Do you know what's happening? He says, sniffle. So now Moose is in the corner doing this. <laughs> Why do people start sniffling sometimes? <laughs> sometimes it's when they're sad and they're crying a little bit, but they might not want you to hear it. So he's crying so softly. So now he was really angry and then he was kind of being mean to the others. And now he's just sad. Hmm. But Zebra kind of hears him. He's still protecting the whale. W is for whale. Zebra is so small on top of that whale. But now the moose is sobbing. <laughs> he's crying so hard because he's so, so sad. And on the X's for xylophone is where we find moose crying. And zebra says, um, m moose? And he's just crying, boo! Because <laughs> now he's just sad he didn't get a turn. And Zebra says, well, you can be in the book. I can't. It's too late. All that's left is Z. Does Moose start with Z? It doesn't. He's so sad he didn't get a turn. Have you ever felt like that? Yeah, me too.
It's not a good feeling, is it? And Zebra is trying to make him feel better. So guess what he says? He says, come on. And if you look real closely, you see Zebra has put his arm around Moose's arm. Let's see where he's taking him. Z is for Zebra's friend, Moose. Oh, look at how happy he is. He's smiling. Zebra realized how sad he was. He didn't mean to do all those things when he had that little temper tantrum. And then when he was crossing out for the other, other people's turns for the other letters, he was just so angry he didn't even know what he was doing. So he calmed down. Zebra could talk to him. And then he found a way to include him. Isn't that wonderful? A little bit silly. It was, I think it was a very fun book. And I love the happy ending. And there they are, Moose and Zebra on the back page. Z is for Zebra, walking home. Isn't that fun? So sometimes you can remember that too. If maybe you see someone who's left out and maybe they said some mean things and got angry because that they were so angry and sad that they didn't know what to do, but then they're gonna be sad later. So maybe you could be kinder and include them with you and then you'll see them smile and it'll really brighten their day. I know you can. Would you like to do a little activity with all these letters? We did so much alphabet today. Let's do an activity. So I thought it would be fun. We can do this in two ways. I thought it would be fun if you pick one letter of the alphabet, maybe the first letter of your name, maybe just a letter of things that you like a lot of. I picked B because my last name is, you know me as Ms. Billinghurst. So B for Billinghurst. And then I drew a big letter B with a marker and I used a magazine and cut out a lot of pictures of things that begin with the letter B. Like, now this one, I thought it was cool because it could be two things. It could be a bowl or breakfast. Both start with a B. And I found braids. I found boxes with bows, books, birds, a boat, boots, uh -huh, Santa's boots, a bucket, a band. What else do I have? Oh, a bottle, a little water bottle a babysitter. And then I also have some other things I can show you how I stuck them on. I found bags and books. Oh, another book. Did I put a book on here? I did already. So all you do is draw a letter really nice and big. And you know that I drew the B. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to fill up my whole paper with that B. Okay, my whole paper. And then I actually even went like this. I did it like another one on the inside, another line, so that I could color it in, which is why when you look over here, it's so big and bold, because then I colored it in like this, okay, all around. And then when you find the things and you cut them out, all you need is a glue stick, which I happen to have. And then you're just gonna put glue on your back, the back of your little pictures that you cut out. And you're gonna glue it. I kind of made mine go right along the edge and around the outside. So then if I wanted to put my book on here, it would be like that. I also have a picture of another another picture of another bucket, sand bucket. And it can go all the way around. So then it's my B picture, but you can make any letters. I used, like I have some catalogs that I get at work sometimes. Maybe your parents have some catalogs you could look through just to look for pictures. Like, look, if my, if my letter was S, I would have a squirrel and a snake. So you can do any picture that you want. If you don't, or if you look in like the mail flyers, the things that you get in the mail, the junk mail, you could keep those and make and find things in your letter as well. If you don't have anything like that, here's the second way you can do this project. If you pick, we're gonna, I'm gonna do, how about a letter? Should we do a different letter? How about the letter 
mm, S, okay? Because we saw all those S's. So if I make a really big S and I don't have any pictures that I can cut out and glue on, I can draw pictures inside my S, right? So I could take my green color and I could draw a slithery snake. What do you think about that? So I can make my own pictures along my S. There he is, there's a snake. What else starts with S besides snake? Maybe a star. How about a star? So maybe I'll put a big star up here on my S. Star starts with S, right? So, or if you like, if you find some pictures, but then you think maybe you want to fill something in with other, with other pictures that you draw, you could do that. So maybe on the B, I didn't find a picture of a ball, but it would be fun to have a ball. So even though I already pasted some pictures on, I can draw a picture of a ball, right? I could, or I could turn it into a balloon because balloons are, start with B as well. I think that is a fun way to celebrate your favorite letter. So pick a letter, any letter. I chose B. You can find them in a magazine, cut out little tiny pictures and glue them around. Or you can draw your own pictures around your letter. Isn't that a fun activity? And then hang it up. I like it. Thank you, Moose, for introducing us to the alphabet. That's a great way to start the school year, isn't it? How about we spread some joy? You ready? How about you, Joy? You ready? All right. Let's shake up our jar of joy. Now that we've started school, you might even be able to find, think of new ways to spread some joy. So if you think of any, go ahead and put it in the comments. Have your parents send me an email and I'll add it to our jar, okay? Let's see what this one says. Ooh, even after your busy school day, I think you might have time for this. It says, set the table for dinner. Oh, do you know what kind of joy that would spread for the grown-ups in your house? You took one of their chores and did it for them, like setting the table for dinner. They don't even have to ask you. You can go into the kitchen while your mom or your dad or your grandma or your uncle, whoever's cooking you dinner, while they're cooking, go in and say, hey, I'm gonna set the table for dinner tonight. How can I help? And they'll give you the plates to set. Isn't that cool? What a great way to spread some joy. Thank you, Joy, I liked it. All right, that's all we have for today, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed our silly story. Make those amazing picture collages and go set that table for dinner. Spread your joy. I know you can. I'll see you next week. Have fun.